Hi guys, Techman here. You're probably aware that All Powers run a crowdfunded campaign for the Monster X Portable Power Station. And I've mentioned this before, and many of you already know that All Powers run into all kinds of problems during the campaign. Covid aside, the portable power stations, or solar generators as they are commonly known, had quality control issues and inverter issues. Many received damage or dead on arrival units. These were significant factors which contributed to delays in fulfilling orders from the campaign on Indiegogo. Another reason was that All Powers diverted most of their efforts to fulfilling orders and replacing faulty units on the Japanese or Eastern Asian crowdfunding website Makake, even though the Indiegogo campaign started months earlier. Makake? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. Anyhow, I am under the impression that majority of backers have now received their units, but some backers are still waiting for their units two years on. And unfortunately, the lack of activity and lame excuses from All Powers have left many frustrated and angry. But what I'd like to discuss today is something I came across a few weeks ago. All Powers have released a new portable power station. This one is called the Monster X Pro. And it's not just a prototype or another crowdfunded product still in its development stage. No, this actually is retailing on Amazon, eBay and other platforms. Now, before I dive in further, I think it's a bit harsh to retail the new Monster X Pro which is, in effect, just an upgraded or version 2.0 of its predecessor, when some are still waiting for their Monster X units or a refund. Now don't get me wrong, I have no issue with all powers developing and working on a new product, so long as they continue to fulfil and support their previous crowdfunded campaign, the Monster X. Now moving on and looking at the features and specs of both the Monster X and the Monster X Pro, you will notice some similarities and differences between the two units. Right away you'll notice the large 30 amp RV output plug on the right. But let's look at the comparison as detailed on the All Powers website. First off, the new model has a suffix and is named the Monster X Pro. Nothing new here, it's a common trend in the portable power station world. The Monster X Pro has a larger inverter installed, which pumps out 2400 watts continuous AC compared to the X's 2000 watts inverter. The Pro charges faster via wall outlet. And in fact, it charges at 1500 watts compared to the 400 watts of the Monster X. The AC surge on the Pro has been raised to 4000 watts, and the USB C ports on the new Pro can handle up to 100 watts power delivery, which is fantastic. Next, I really like how the solar input range has been increased. The Monster X is limited and can only handle 200 watts of solar energy. The X Pro, on the other hand, can take up to 70 volts and 650 watts of solar charge. So the Monster X Pro seems to be a step in the right direction. Though I feel for those who back the Monster X and are stuck with a limited power station. Why couldn't all powers just get things right the first time and increase the charging parameters of the previous version? Oh, and notice how there's mention of an MPPT charge controller here, but not here. I wonder if that was accidental or a hint. This is interesting. Jumping down to the UPS function, the X Pro does come with a built-in UPS. Unlike the older Monster X, which was advertised to have a UPS, at least on the Indiegogo campaign. And last but not least, the X Pro has a handy 30 amp RV plug, which I'm sure will appeal to RVers and travelers. Then the Monster X was able to charge via the Anderson Power Pole port or the DC5525 port on the front of the unit, whereas the Monster X Pro houses an XT60 port for solar charging. Why the shift from Anderson Power Pole to XT60? I have no idea. Anderson power poles come in 15, 30 and 45 amp rated connectors, so there are plenty for the job at hand. Anyways, is the Monster X Pro worth the upgrade? Does it really pack the punch? I've reached out to all powers to get some more information and see if they are willing for me to put it through its paces here on this channel. And I'll keep you updated on the communication with all powers. Now, from what I see, the Monster X Pro houses lithium iron cells just like its predecessor. So they haven't jumped the lithium iron phosphate boat yet. But then I came across this. This one is called the Monster Pro. No X in this one. And it seems to be a complete all-in-one home backup system. Perhaps a direct competitor to the EP500 from Bluetti. Not much information on this model yet on the internet. But it does house lithium iron phosphate cells. Now we're talking. This should be interesting. The competition just got hotter and this opens a new chapter in the portable power station marketplace. It's also healthy competition, so I say the game is on. All powers, if you're watching this, I'm interested in taking a look at this unit, so contact me to discuss further. 
Right guys, before I sign out, I'm off on a short break and then again in about a month's time. I'll try and make a video in between the two breaks and I hope I have some good news for you then. Like I mentioned earlier, I've reached to All Powers and a couple of other manufacturers for that matter, but unfortunately my experience is that they don't respond, so I'm hoping for better communication this time round. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next one.